your pocketbooks ready, folks. Because Hattie Justin is about to bring back another ISIS terrorist because a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian, right? I'm talking about Muhammad Ali. No, not the world champion boxer, but a little runty, disgusting terrorist who not so long ago bragged about playing soccer with severed heads and enticing other people from the West to come and fight for the cause. The jihad was God sent and we should target the West no holds barred. He went on to celebrate the death of the Guard of Honor at Parliament Hill, Sergeant Cirillo. And now he finds himself in a bit of a quandary. He is himself a prisoner. Jeez, what a pity. He was caught in Syria, I believe, by Kurdish rebels, and they want to return him to Canada. And of course, he wants to come to Canada because, you know, Kurdish rebel held prison, Canadian Western society. Hmm, not such a tough decision to make. His wife was interviewed. They have children and cry me a river. She suffered so much. <laughs> Didn't know what she was getting into. Bring us home. I can't stand another day of this torture. My child has asthma. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. Well, honey, I hate to tell you, but you might have wanted to give that some thought before you took the leap and went with an acclaimed terrorist to commit horrible atrocities alongside this individual. So now I think it's time for you to just shut your mouth and you did the crime, so you're now going to do the time. And if we were smart as Canadians, and probably most of us are, except we're led by a complete dolt who for whatever bizarre reason has Muslim sympathies, we're gonna get this guy back and most probably we're gonna be opening up our wallets for another $10.5 million payment because remember what our wonderful leader said, these returning jihadis can be a powerful voice in Canada. You know what folks, I bet the majority of us watching this news story unfold would rather that there be no voice at 